Hey, what's up, pop-up camper community? This is Alex from Pop-Up in Real Life, and I'm excited to put this video together for you. I am gonna give you a full tour of our 1995 Coleman Fleetwood, Utah pop-up camper. This one's gonna go way in depth. Some of you know some of the details of pop-up camper, but some of you may be watching, you are thinking about buying a pop-up camper, or you're just curious about what a pop-up camper looks like to set up and tear down all those details. So I'm gonna show you that in depth today. And so I hope you enjoy this and I hope you're doing well. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here's the front of my pop-up camper. You can see right here, I've got my battery. I actually don't use the battery. Um, just have not found the need for it, but I've got one there in case I do need it. I've got my two propane pit tanks right here and I use actually smart straps just to tie those down. And I actually am able to hook up a uh, hose right here, hook it right onto here and I can hook it to my fire pit. I can hook it to my camp stove, makes it really nice to have that there. You also see right on the front of most pop-up campers. Um, this is, allows the pop-up camper to go up and down. Also when I've got it camping, that helps to stabilize it. And so that's another piece of the hitch. I'm not gonna show how to hook up the pop-up camper. You can probably find a video on that. But here's the front of my pop-up camper, kind of the setup that I like. I also have, usually have right in here is where I put a um, level, a tiny little level. And so when I get to my campsite, I make sure everything's level. It's one of the first things that I do. First thing you're gonna wanna do with the pop-up camper is take off these latches. And so you'll see I've got four latches, one here, um, one at the front, two other, two on the other side. And so you simply release that there and bring it down. You'll notice on this latch up front, I'm not gonna get it on right now, but you notice on this latch up front, when you put it on, there's actually a hole right here. And so you can actually put a lock if you wanna bring some more security, but I don't have that on mine. Then you also notice on this 1995 pop-up, it's got some outlets outside. So once I get hooked up to shore power, I can actually use some outlets uh, for outside if I wanna hook up some music or some other things outside, which is kind of cool. Here are the vents if you use the stove inside the pop-up camper and so it allows smoke to come out. I actually took out my stove just cause I don't really wanna cook inside the pop-up camper. And here are the other two latches that I already took off. There's one there and one toward the back. Uh, this is the hookup for water. So I've got a hose that cooks up to the water when I get to the campsite. You'll notice right here it's broken, so I'm buying a replacement piece. Um, it's city, uh, city hose or city connector, and so you just put that back on, but you'll notice the hose right there connect up to it. Um, works out really well. Now I'm at the back of the camper, and this is where you can actually put a hose onto here and you can actually fill up your uh, water tank, which I'll show you inside. Um, I don't really use it that often, but I do have some water in there. Uh, there's also a note to sanitize and flush and drain. There's a lot of videos out there about that process. I personally don't do it because I don't use it much, but you can check those out. And then right behind there, this is where you've got your power. And so you'll see this comes out. Oh, this actually hides underneath um, one of the seats inside and so you can see your shore power i've got some different adapters which i can show you there's a bunch of videos out there on that but this is where you hook up to power uh, it's a nice cord and then when you push it back in one of the things i've noticed with this that you want to do is when you push it back in you push it all the way down until it snaps there you go and then you cover it i also have some uh, uh, chalk pieces or blocks that I put behind the wheels. I've got it on both sides. Very wise to have those uh, when you're pop-up camping. Sometimes you can also put one on the front if you want to uh, have it hold in place. I uh, told you I was gonna go in depth. Look at this view right here, but here's a stabilizer jack. I'm gonna show you it down, but how it works, it's kind of tricky, is you gotta pull it out and then down, and then it comes and locks right in. You can see it right there, it locks right in place. Some people have other stabilizer jacks they use. I just use the ones they come with. There are four of these on each corner. So you do have to get down under and then I'll show you how it releases right here. While I'm down here, I'll also show you the spare tire on this uh, pop-up camper, which is pretty nice. So here is that stabilizer jack. And then you just press this and that actually releases it down. I actually have some thin wood pieces in case it doesn't fit flush, but this is just for extra support. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I have some blocks that I can put down there. And then the tricky part is when you want to get it up, you got to push that all the way down 
it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Oh, there you go. And then, and then you actually pull down and then it goes back up. Look at that with one hand. That's nice. And then you can see, let's see if I can see that. It's all the way up there. You can see I've also got some lights here. I've got some lights on the side and on the other side. Anytime I head out for pop-up camping, I always have my wife uh, make sure my lights are working and everything's hooked up properly. When I pull out the bed ends, uh, I'll show you this, but you'll notice that little piece right there. There's a piece on this side as well. That's where the support bolts, bolt, uh, poles, sorry, hook into. Um, so they support your bed ends. While I'm at it, let me show you the ones for the front. That's where the uh, support hook or pole goes for the front. I keep saying hook and I want to say pull. And then here's the other one right here. So that's how you get the stabilizer and support on the front and the back bed ends. There also was an awning that hung here. I took it out and then it was junky and so I just ripped it all off. I didn't really use it. I've got my own pop-up canopy and we really don't use an awning much. So you may have an awning, you can use that, but I just took it out. It's a lot easier, at least for me. And you can see the top of the pop-up camper. We've kept it really clean. We uh, garage keep it. As you probably know, if you've watched my videos, we keep it just right over there. And so we wash it off, clean it off. It looks really nice. And then you've got your two trailer tires, one on each side. I actually test them before I go. And you can actually use a bike pump, uh, which is kind of interesting. My Uncle Dan taught me that. And so I make sure they're pumped up before we ever hit the road. All right, it's starting to get dark, but it's the best time for me to film because the kids are in bed. If you have young kids, you know what I mean. So here is the key that you actually use that I'm going to show you in a second to get the pop-up up, up after you have the latches off. And you'll notice the little groove right there goes in and then the handle here. Um, there's also some mechanical ones that you can use. Check up its pop in. They actually did an analysis and kind of timed each and actually the hand crank um, actually is quicker in, in both scenarios. It might not be easier, but it's quicker. So let me show you how to crank the pop-up up. up. All right, so you just take this, you'll see the groove, and right inside of there, you can see the bar, and then you just take this, put it right inside, and you'll hear it kind of lock, and you'll see mine is open to the right. Okay, I'm gonna start cranking it. It really is not that difficult. I don't know, I'm kind of young, but you can time it. It probably takes about 45 seconds or less. Just crank it up. And then actually mine doesn't actually stay up, so I've just got a bungee cord. I just wrap it around here, wrap it around the front, the actual trailer, and voila. So again, there's that bungee cord that I just wrap around. If I didn't, this would start unwinding. There's probably a safer way to do it, but the previous owners did it and it works for me as well. Okay, and now we've got the door, and so you'll just put the key in. For my pop-up camper, I actually have to lift up um, from the bottom and then turn this and you'll notice right inside there I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little uh, Lock that clicks in and so that's how you open the door. So here we go Okay, this is kind of a funky angle, but you'll see I actually on my pop-up I because it's a little older I have to lift up and then I Turn oh turn the other way. There we go Turn and then unravels and you can see that's where that latch from here locks right in place and then this acts as your step so you can get in and out of the pop-up. So the next step is actually to pull the bed ends out. And so how I do it with mine is you just grab right in here and then you just start pulling. Sometimes I have to get some leverage on the actual trailer itself. Pull them all the way out. And uh, you shouldn't have to force it too much. And then you'll know when they're all the way out because you'll hear they kind of click like that. Now I'm down here just for so you can show you, but these are the stabilizers for the bed ends. And so this front one comes down just like this. And then usually I would have somebody helping me hold this up while I try to put it in here. So I'm gonna try to do it while I'm down here. Oh, it's kind of hard while I'm sitting down. So I'm gonna get up. I will sometimes use my back um, just if I'm by myself and you lift it up and you'll see it sits right on there. So it's nice and stable. And I'm gonna do it for the other side as well. So here I am on the other side, doing the exact same thing. Again, not too safe to use your back, but for these purposes, it locks right in, same as this side, and then this end is nice and secure. 
Hey, so I'm on the back of the pop-up camper. I forgot to mention the front is a king size bed. This is a full size bed. And so you just, again, grab your hands here. You can put a little foot here if you want some support and then you just pull it right out. Just mentioned something else. You should never have to pull too hard if you are something stuck. So check that something's not stuck with the canvas or something stuck inside because you don't want to break anything, but you have, you have to kind of give it a little oomph, but you shouldn't have to really yank on it too hard. That one's in, crawl underneath here. If you've got a bad back, don't do this. <laughs> have someone help you. They can pull up on this side and have somebody maneuver. Sometimes my kids are younger, I'll just have them come down here as I pull it up. Now, before you um, hook the canvas on, you're gonna wanna go inside, which I'll show you, and put the, um, uh, basically put the holders up for the canvas. But I do wanna show you this. Once you've got that up, you're gonna come back out and put these hooks right on there. And so you'll see, I do the next one it is right here. I'll just, I kind of know where they are now, so I don't have to come underneath here, but you'll see they go all the way around, all the way to the other side. Same thing on the front side. I'll show you that, where those hooks are located. That helps so that um, water doesn't get in, but also so that stuff, when you're sleeping on your bed, stuff doesn't fall down in these cracks um, and uh, it keeps it really nice and secure. And so there's the other hook, I'm toward the front. Same idea, out toward the front. Just hook it on there and you can see I'm kind of laying on the ground kind of a funny view but you can see those same hooks that go all the way around the front to hold on your canvas you don't want to put that on until you've gone inside and done what I'm about to show you next um, so the next thing I do right when I walk inside is I'll move any stuff that I've packed here this is a great spot to pack stuff by the way you can also pack stuff in here you can also pack some chairs on top of here because when you slide your bed end in there's actually a little bit of room you'll see You've got the space from the top of the dinette to here, which is a little bit of a gap where you can put, we usually put some folding chairs and just lay them across there, but you wanna bring this dinette up. So let me show you how to do that. Um, before I do that, I wanna show you this little switch right here. Um, this is really important because your lights will not work if this dinette is not all the way up. This uh, switch is meant to, when you put the pop-up camper down, you don't actually leave your lights on and drain your battery. And so you have to move the kitchenette up which pushes this switch down and then your lights will uh, be able to turn on once you're connected to their battery or to shore power. Okay, here we go. Just got this handle, you just lift it up. I'm gonna make sure that my, comes out of the way, just comes right up and sits right in place. All right, let just me like give that. you a little tour of the kitchen area. This is um, where we took out the oven. You can see the connector there. We actually then put this back on, and this is a nice little cutting board surface. We actually put a cutting board on here, a place to store stuff. We have a Berkey water filter that we set here. Uh, if you haven't checked out Berkey water filters, I highly encourage you to look at them. They're costly, but very, um, very helpful. Here is our um, sink right here, obviously. So this you can actually pump right now because I've got that uh, tank, water tank that I'm gonna show you that's actually right underneath the seat over here. But also, I didn't learn this till recently, when you're actually connected to water, you can actually just hold this down and it'll just give a steady stream of water so you don't have to pump it. That was a game changer when we figured that out. Okay, quickly, we got a drawer here. That's where we put the silverware. Got another drawer right here. That's where we put plates. Um, we've got some space underneath here. That's where we have some random kitchen items. All right, moving along. Oh, this is awesome. This is where we have our outdoor um, stove that hooks up on the outside. I'll show you that. And this is where we have our Coleman. So we just leave this outdoor stove as kind of a shelf and then we put our Coleman on top of it. Here's that connector hose that we hook up to the propane. It's 12 foot and it runs all the way to uh, power up the, um, the camper stove. We've got the traditional Coleman, Coleman stove. I don't need to bring that out. You guys uh, have probably seen that before. Then we've got our fridge right here. Fridge doesn't stay too cold. Uh, but you can see I use it for storage when we're traveling. Then what we you, we actually do is we take ice packs or ice bottles. I mean, let me use the English water bottles. There we go. And we freeze them and then we put them in there and they keep nice and cold when we start to travel. Then when we get there, they unthaw over the next couple days and then we just drink them and they work well as ice packs. Um, there we go. We've got some... Um, Regs. It's been a long day, sorry. <laughs> and then we have some more storage. I mean, look at all the storage in there. I'm not even using all of it. 
got the French press, brooms, we got some s'more sticks. That's one thing I love about the pop-up camper is all the storage, if you really think it through, uh, it's pretty amazing. You got another spot for storage. This is right as you enter. So we put some of the, just some stuff in there. And then here's all the utility stuff, hammer, um, lighters, lights, all that stuff. So again, so much storage in this pop-up camper. And we love that you can keep stuff in here. And so when you're ready to hit the road, you already know you've got your supplies and you're not putting stuff in the pop-up. On a side note, this Koglin's trash can is amazing. It actually pops all the way up and then you can use a trash can, you fold it. I'm not sponsored by Koglin's, but man, it's amazing. Um, and so you can fit a full size garbage bag in there, but then it's, uh, it's, it folds up really nicely, basically. Once I'm connected to uh, Sharp Power, um, you wanna make sure to click on with both these switches and that'll allow you to turn the lights on above. If you don't have these on, your lights won't turn on, on above. And you also got a fire extinguisher for safety. In our reno we did last year, we used peel and stick flooring. This stuff has held up like a champ. There's a couple pots of spots I've had to glue on, but my wife did it and I would say she did an excellent job. Okay, you may wonder what these foam messes are. These actually go on our king side of our bed. That's where we sleep. And so we put this foam on right on top of the mattress and then we put our sleeping bags on top and it is amazingly comfortable. And they actually fit perfectly right here. When you bring that bed end down, it slides right over. Usually right underneath here, we have the diet kitchen um, table. I'm gonna show you that outside. And then you can actually transform this area into a queen size bed. So you got a full size bed, queen, and then behind me, you've got the king size bed. So a lot of sleeping can go on here. I'm gonna take this stuff out of here and then we'll uh, show you the rest. So I decided to put the dinette back in. You can see the table and you can see all the cushions. There's one more cushion underneath and that's where you actually can have the queen size bed if you want somebody to sleep at night. You've also got some amazing storage underneath here where you put sleeping bags. You can see that's a pop-up canopy that fits in there, which is pretty awesome. And then there's my <laughs> handy dandy leveler that I have on the front of the pop-up camper. Um, while I'm here, just let me show you these amazing curtains that my mom sewed for us. And you can see the clip system um, that we use. I think those are command clips and these have held up awesome. And then with the pop-up camper, there are zippers. So you can open that window, you can open this window right here. You can also open uh, the window on this side to get some nice airflow. Um, you can also use fans, AC unit, different things like that. If it's a portable one that you can bring inside here. Really quick, here's that dinette table. And so those legs, you see the Velcro, take that off, the legs come out. We don't usually use the table. Well, we do, I guess sometimes we put it right here in the center. i uh, also show you a small table that you can set up right here. Uh, if you wanna just have a smaller table so it doesn't take up as much space. And then we have a pack and play. This is where right now we've got a young kiddo. And so we put the pack and play, it fits perfectly in this area. And so all the boys uh, sleep over there. My wife and I sleep on this side. And then the pack and play is right in the middle. Okay, one of the hidden gems of Pop-Up Camper, look at all that storage just on one side. And there's your uh, water holding tank right there. We've actually got a raft. We've got the canopy um, uh, tarp that goes over it. We've got a toilet. We've got, oh, these things are awesome. Dollar store right here. These help to trap the moisture. Look how much moisture we've had in here. You can buy those at the dollar store, moisture eliminator, great deal. Um, we've also got some extension cords. Um, so great storage on this side. Also, um, this is just uh, like drop cloth material um, that my mom, again, bless her heart, helped us and she just stapled it to the back. It's really durable and we've got kids and so it's held up, I would say, really well. I'll show you a little thing right here. We bought this tea molding and so you can get that to shove in these crevices. You could probably glue it in if you wanted to. Ours kind of comes out here or there, um, but it looks nice when it's in. Okay, this is the other side. We've got some sleeping bags. We've got some pillows, another pillow. We've also got another cushion. We've actually got an electric heater. We've got a mat we haven't used yet. We bought that. It's like an RV mat. And so you can again see how much storage this pop-up camper has. Okay, you can see this small table has a pole in here. I'm not gonna get it out for now, but the pole is actually underneath there. And the pole actually goes, let's take a look. It goes right inside here. And so, oh, there we go, right inside here. And so you can actually set up this little table. Imagine it just right here. And so you can have it there, or you can have your big table, this one over here, where you can set it up all along here. If you want a little more space. This camper, you got an outlet here. You've got an, also an outlet, um, let's see, right up there in the front. All right, you like my finger pointing, good. And then you've got a couple outlets outside. This is where all your electrical is. So we just pop this open like that. 
Um, and then when you get plugged in, you're gonna just flip these up, that turns it on. Um, there's some fuses. We actually have some extra fuses. I know um, some other people like tape their fuses here. Um, we just have them in a drawer. And then you'll see the converter off and battery. So if you're plugged in, you're gonna want it to be the converter to be on, all right? And then if you're not using it, you wanna be off. And if you're using battery, then you wanna go over to the right and use battery. Pretty simple, okay? And then when you're done, you wanna make sure to turn that off, make sure this is off. And then again, those are 15 amp fuses. You can buy those online. I bought a bunch of them, so. And then it just goes right back up. You wanna make sure to lock that in place. And then remember, if you're gonna use your lights, um, make sure that your kitchen um, unit is up. And then also that uh, these two lights are switched to on, both of them and that'll allow you to turn on your lights. Uh, this may seem like a lot of steps as I'm, as I'm explaining it to you, but it's really not once you get the hang of it, but you, with the pop-up camper, what I found is you wanna make sure you do all the steps in the right order, or you're gonna have to go back and go, oh, I need to do that first or do that next. This is one of those I mentioned earlier, you actually don't wanna hook up your um, um, canvas on the outside to those bed ends yet, because you actually wanna take this pole right here you're gonna move this pole all the way out. And it's important at this point that you put those stabilizer jacks on because you're gonna come, oh, it just hit me. Let's see if I can push it up. And then you've got one of these big poles that has an end right there, a little point. And you actually go right up to this pole and there's actually a hole right in that pole. So you get it in that hole. And then you bring this back and you, you got one, push here one push here I'll show you closer you push it right inside of there oh push that down and then you'll see it locks in place I'll show you a closer view so you can take a look at it you even have on both sides uh, this little pouch that you can put stuff in one on this side and uh, I guess not on that side I guess it's just on this side and uh, toward the front and you can also see right there's a hole right here and that's where this end went in so it's nice and locked and it'll keep it from uh, from moving now you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same thing with the other bed end. I'm not gonna do that right now. And then once you've got those bed ends, you're gonna to wanna to go back outside and hook those kind of bungees down underneath until it keeps it nice and secure. All right, you can see those bed ends are wrapped all the way around and then they're hooked underneath. And here's a view of what it'll look like inside a nice little sleeping area and it uh, works out pretty nice. And last but not least is the door. The door actually hangs up here and I'm just gonna show you, I have to kind of just do it. It's kind of hard to explain. This is one of the coolest features about the pop-up camper is you're gonna get a door. It's gonna have a lock with a little latch I'll show you. Give a little bit of privacy, a little bit of security. I find it a game changer from a tent, having a door, especially with young kids. So let's bring it down. So first there's, first there's a little pin that you're gonna wanna release on this side. I like to do that first. And you'll come back over here. You'll have one button or clip right here one button right here keep it up this is the trickiest part and actually it pops off of that side and then you'll see it actually slides down like this and so you'll notice these guide rails that actually slides on i'll give you a better view of it but it slides down into place i gotta move my light and then i will set up the door so oh, here was that pin I was talking about that releases, all right? And there's those guide rails right there that slides down on that side. And then you got another one on this side. Okay, the door is by far, I think the trickiest part of the pop-up camper. So you're gonna slide it over. Oops, be careful. And then you're gonna put it down first, all right? Make sure this is out of the way. And then, so you actually lock this lever right here into this hole right here. And then you'll see, I'm actually gonna put this piece, it's kind of hard to see, and it's gonna clip right in. I'll show you afterwards so you can see it. And then, you can actually do it from the outside. It's a little bit easier, but once you get it nice and stabilized, you'll see I've got my lock here that locks the door. And then you'll see that opens the door. 
And also kind of cool is that you actually have these pieces that you can push in, slide down. And so if you want to get a nice little breeze going in, you've got this little mesh right here. Or if you want your privacy, you can go up with it. Obviously someone could pretty easily pick these, this lock right here, but it is nice. You're going to hear that when somebody's trying to get in. And so it's going to hopefully stop someone. Okay, we've got our nice looking door. Press that in, opens up the door. Pretty self-explanatory there. And then here's what I was talking about, about the piece that hooks in. And so you're just actually putting it in that groove right there. And you're pressing it in, you just move it down. And it's pretty cool. And then you got a nice tight lock and seal so that you're not getting any moisture in. And again, you're feeling nice and I feel like feeling secure. I'll show you a close up of that. So you can see right here is where that groove goes right inside of there. Let me pull it out so you can see. See that groove goes right inside of there. Sometimes you have to bend it if it's an older pop-up camper, but you can just put it right inside there. Look at that, I'm pushing the pop-up. Nice, and so it locks back in place. And sometimes you gotta groove it and then you start moving up and you'll get that nice and locked in place. Got this scary lighting. <laughs> hey, hopefully you enjoyed this pop-up. It went way in detail. It's probably a long video. I haven't even timed it yet as I go back and edit it all, but it's probably gonna be long and that's okay. It's gonna go way in depth for those of you who wanna know all those details. Um, right now as I'm filming, I'm filming late at night because it's the best time. It's also cooler. And uh, as I'm filming, it's August. And this is the best time to buy a pop-up camper. We bought our pop-up camper in August. People are trying to get rid of them. They know school's right around the corner. They don't want to hold on to them. And so be on the lookout in August. Great time to buy, um, plan for next year, renovate it, maybe go out once or twice before the school year, uh, before school year gets started. But thank you for watching Pop-Up from Real Life. Hopefully this was helpful. This is the 1995 uh, Coleman Fleetwood, Utah edition. And uh, this baby's been awesome. We hope to have it for a long time. Thanks so much. And I forgot to mention, happy, happy camping. Get out there, pop up your camper, enjoy God's creation, enjoy nature and uh, the beauty uh, that is around us. All right, peace out. See you later.